Nice work, Steve. Beauty. Hey, welcome back to Midwest Outdoors. I'm on a guide trip today, and we're chasing walleyes on Mille Lacs Lake. We're doing a lot of live bait rigging on the mud flats. The fish are out here feeding on bugs. They're feeding on bait. And of course, these walleyes are hungry. Nice, Mike. You like a decent one? Yeah, not too bad. Just got started. Perfect. Literally, Mike just dropped it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot of fish coming down this edge. And you know what pays big dividends? To just look at structure. There's so much structure on Mille Lacs and it's so diverse. You really gotta do, spend some time graphing. You're gonna find the fish out here, I guarantee it. Double. Yep. All right. Nice work, guys. So here's my dilemma. <laughs> One net, two fish. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Yeah, I'll net your dad's first. Yep. There you go. Grab that one, Steve. This one feels a little bigger. Nice fish. There's what we're looking for. Yeah. Beauty. Sure do her. You know, I'm just using a six and a half foot Icon series from St. Croix, medium light. I like something with a little sensitivity. When you're live bait rigging, you, you feel that bite, feel it all the way down the blank, and you need a real sensitive rod, and that Icon delivers that with just a spinning reel. I've got braided line with an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And like I was saying, I like using these slip sinkers. Uh, this is a bottom walker sinker, a rock runner, but uh, it slips up and down the line, so it gives you the ability to feed a little line if you want. You know, sometimes walleyes come up and they short bite it, so it's nice to be able to feed a little line as an option. The reason I like using that long, longer bottom bouncer is it gets it up off the bottom, so if you're fishing rocks, mud, even some sand grass, it keeps that weight up off the bottom and you can just walk it along. There's one. Just like that. Just hanging on. <laughs> What's so nice about being able to feel everything is that fish just grabbed on. You know, if, if you weren't using a real sensitive rod and you weren't using, you know, braid and fluorocarbon, you'd think it was just bottom. You know, some of them hit aggressive and some of them just kind of hang on to it. Angry. Another little dinner sized walleye. There. Just got double. a double. Got a double. I think that qualifies as a triple because Mike still is taking the hook out of his. <laughs> we just got two here. All right. Fast action walleyes. Got to love it. I fish a lot of different ways out here, like I said, whether it's spinners, whether it's plastic, crankbaits. You know, it's hard to beat that live bait bite when you feel them. Hit the line like that, and we're catching them nonstop. Leeches, night crawlers, doesn't matter. I didn't want to use up all those guys' as leeches, so <laughs> I had to switch over to some night crawlers. A little better anyway. Rather than just drifting up across the top, we're kind of doing a controlled drift with the trolling motor, sliding down the edge of the brake line, you know, picking up fish as we go along. You know, if you were just out here drifting aimlessly without having that trolling motor to control your speed or a drift sock, you know, your, your speeds would get really wonky, you'd be all over the place, you wouldn't be hanging on that edge, and we definitely wouldn't be catching as many fish. Mike's got another one on. That one feels pretty good. Just crushed it. He's mad. He's <laughs> angry, he thought he had a free leech dinner. <laughs> all right, nice, nice fish, Mike. Told you there was some nice ones hanging down there. There we go. Steve gets another nice one. <laughs> Man. Nice looking walleye. Nice right. job, Steve. Steve doesn't mess around. He, he just waits for the big bites. <laughs> he lets us clear the way for him, and then he gets the big ones. The pig. Big fish Steve is back. That's a nice one, too. All right. Nice looking fish. Beauty. Good job. Nice fish, Steve. Yeah, you better get a picture with that one. Beauty. Nice color. His dorsal fins up. It's still mad. There we go. <laughs> Not a bad fish. All right, thanks, Mike. You got her. Oh, there we go. Nice looking fish. Just never gets old whether they're Big, small, medium, we've been whacking on them today. Nice looking walleyes like this. This is why you come to Mille Lacs Lake. You know, I really want to thank Mike and Steve for coming out fishing with me today. 
and all the customers. If you want to get a hold of me, you can go to roachesguideservice.com, Tony Roach Outdoors. Uh, look me up on Facebook, start catching walleyes like these. In addition to catching walleyes on Mille Lacs, we have an unbelievable smallmouth fishery, great musky fishing, great northern pike, just always good fishing on Mille Lacs. That's so, true. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out with you me today, it. catching a ton of fish. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.